Did you know that Nazis almost ended up saluting the German Chancellor with the ridiculous Hail Schickelgruber? Hey! Propaganda spread the lie that Adolf Hitler was originally Adolf Schickelgruber. There's still a grain of truth in it, even though it was false. But where exactly did that funny sounding German last name come from? Adolf Hitler born Schickelgruber. Das war ein Befehl! The Hungarian-born author and anti-Nazi Hans Habe published a report back in 1932 alleging that Adolf Hitler's true name was Adolf Schickelgruber. The truth was that Adolf's father, Alois Hitler, was born out of wedlock to Maria Anna Schickelgruber and had her surname. Alois' father could have been Johann Georg Hitler, his younger brother Johann Nepomuk Hitler, or Leopold Frankenberger, an alleged Jewish man. Johann Georg became Alois' stepfather and was posthumously declared as his legal birth father. But Alois' true father could have also been Yuhan Nipomuk, who was rumored to have had an affair with Maria. Nipomuk was the maternal grandfather of Alois' third wife, Clara Pozel, with whom Adolf was born. So if it was Nipomuk, that would mean that Adolf was a child of an uncle and his half-niece. When he was about 39 years old, Alois decided to change his surname, perhaps for the better, to the surname of his deceased stepfather, Johann Georg. From 1877, 12 years before Adolf was born, his father called himself Hitler. It is unknown whether Hitler was misspelled to Hitler or if it was intentionally changed to Hitler. The Third Reich officially considered Johann Georg Hitler as Adolf's paternal grandfather. But the question of his ancestry still caused much speculation. After World War II, Adolf's former lawyer, Hans Frank, claimed that the dictator told him back in 1930 that one of his relatives was threatening to reveal his alleged Jewish ancestry. Frank said that around the time Maria Schickelgruber gave birth to Alois, she worked as a household cook in the town of Graz under the province of Styria in Austria under a Jewish family named Frankenberger and that her child might have been conceived out of wedlock with the family's 19-year-old son, Leopold Frankenberger. But this Jewish hypothesis has been rejected. All Jews were said to have been expelled from Styria in the 15th century and were not allowed to return until the 1860s, when Alois was already in his 30s. There was also no evidence of any Frankenberger family living in Graz during the time of his birth. Regardless of who Hitler's paternal grandfather was, the truth is that Hitler was always legally Hitler. That's too bad. The darkest portions of history could have been lighter if future historians referred to the dictator as Schickelgruber. Hey!